we're gonna make my favorite kind of grits and Ryan's favorite kind of grits, cheese grits. Salam and hello. Today, Ryan and I are gonna try making one of our favorite treats from home in Atlanta today here in Morocco. So if you're not familiar with our story, we left the United States in February of this year, 2020, to travel the world for a year. And we have been here in Morocco because of the coronavirus for about three and a half months. We're missing home a little bit and we're missing some of our favorite comfort foods from home. And one of those is grits. So to make our grits, we're going to use one of our favorite foods here in Morocco which is couscous. So there's actually a big difference between grits and couscous. Grits are made from corn and they're ground corn and there are different sizes of grits that you can have. Stone ground grits are the best ones if you're ever looking for some in the States. What we have here is couscous, which is made from semolina flour. So couscous is wheat based, but about a similar size to some of the grits that we would have at home. So we're gonna try to make a traditional grits recipe using couscous. To start, we have a cup of water. We'll put that in our pot. And then we'll add a cup of milk. And then we're gonna let all of this boil before we add the, the couscous in our grits. Grits, one of my favorite things, actually shrimp and grits, probably one of my favorite meals. They're not really known to be the healthiest thing. In fact, southern food in general isn't really that healthy. A lot of it's fried or it's made with a lot of fat and things like that. This included. So comparing it to Moroccan food and couscous in particular, couscous can be a lot healthier than grits, but this is going to turn out really, really well. And we recommend you try it at least once. So our water and milk mixture is boiling and we're going to add our couscous in here. We'll mix it in. Now when you're making grits, you stir a lot. So we'll spend a lot of time stirring. Ryan might do some stirring as well to help me out. But you don't want your grits to get lumpy. You want it to be very creamy and very smooth, different from couscous, which you want to be light and fluffy. So you can see already the couscous is absorbing a lot of the liquid. We may need to add some more liquid. Also, let me take this moment to tell everybody that we have no idea how this is going to turn out. So it could be amazing or this could be really terrible, but we're going to try. I think, I think it's time to add the butter. Honey, do you want to do the honors? So we're putting in a lot of butter because that's what we do in the South. I think we need more milk. Adding just a touch more milk. Just to keep it nice and creamy. Interestingly, it looks like the couscous absorbs a lot more liquid than the grits do, which actually makes sense. Um, but we do want to try to keep it nice and creamy. So we have lots of butter and lots of milk. And this actually looks really good. So Edam cheese is very popular. We've seen in Morocco a lot of Edam cheese everywhere. So we have cut up some cheese and we'll just throw that in here. Then we'll stir a lot more. I'm going to go ahead actually and season this with a little bit of salt. That was, this is a lot of salt. We're going to use a little bit of salt. So a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit of pepper too. I like a little bit of pepper in my grits. And then Ryan, if you can get in here, you can see that all of this cheese is starting to melt. So I think these are ready. All of the cheese is nice and melted. Everything is creamy and it's a little lumpy. We should be using a whisk for this, but we don't have a whisk, so we've got our stirrer, but I think they're still gonna be really good. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, you can see some cheese. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh yeah. That is really good. Really, really creamy. Um, you can taste a little bit of a difference. It doesn't taste exactly like grits, but it's really, really close. Uh, yeah, I, this is awesome. Nice job, sweetie. Success. Success. So that was our little taste of Atlanta Southern cooking here in Morocco. We hope you liked it. One of our favorite ways to have grits at home is 
shrimp and grits like Ryan mentioned earlier. So we'll put a recipe for that in the description just in case you want to try your hand at it. And you should. It's so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> and also, don't forget to subscribe or consider subscribing. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Mm -hmm. If you do subscribe, there's a little bell. If you click that notification bell, then you'll get notified when we release a new video. Also, we love to hear what you think about our videos, so please leave us a comment. If you like the video, hit the like button, and we love the shares as well. So thank you guys very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. See ya. Bye. So one common way that people eat grits also is in the mornings and for breakfast. Um, you may have it with cheese like we're making here, uh, but a lot of times you can add sugar or cinnamon too. You don't add sugar to your grits. Some people do. <laughs> <laughs> and you should. It's so <laughs> delicious. And also? <laughs> and also, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to try your hand at the shrimp and grits recipe, we'll put the recipe down in the description below so you can check that out. <laughs> do you want me to? <laughs> Did I do it wrong? <laughs> no, 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 that's good. <laughs> so, so that was our little taste of... <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say.